of the more than 3,400 COVID-19 cases in the Erongo region, 543 are from Swakopmund, making it the second highest infection rate after Valvis Bay. Senior medical officer at the Swakopmund District Hospital says cases have gone up in recent weeks because more tests are being done. Dr. Marita Muton expressed concern that some residents who test positive are reluctant to be admitted into isolation wards and quarantine facilities despite the reduction in days that they are allowed to spend at these facilities. It's still the delay in the results from NIP and then also um, the refusal of our patients so in the process, they are spreading the disease if they don't cooperate with us, and that's why our number is increasing. Like, but but I, I know the concern of our community. They are concerned that they might lose their belongings. They are concerned that they might lose their jobs. Of the 543 confirmed positive cases, there are 81 active cases in Swakopmund, Arandes and Handys Bay. The health district says it is ready to manage these cases. There are 24 positive cases at Arandes, while Handys Bay has none. We have upgraded two of our uh, blocks, which can accommodate plus minus 50 patients. In all those blocks, we have available oxygen for the patients. Then we have uh, our Tamaraskia clinic that we have currently upgraded and that we can also use in case of the numbers uh, increase. The NDF has also indicated willingness to construct a field hospital for the district to accommodate increasing numbers. In addition, Dr. Muton says discussions with Swakop Uranium are underway to provide prefabricated units for isolation rooms. Renate Renkura, NBC News, Swakopmund.